Hello kids and my dear parents how are you all I hope everyone is fine and safe at home as we are going through this lockdown period I have decided to teach my children through my videos my video consists of reading of a story with value but before that I would like you all to stand up for the national pledge so let's start the national pledge right hand near your chest left hand by your side feet together and let's start the national pledge india is my country all indians are my brothers and sisters i love my country and i am proud of its rich and varied heritage i shall always strive to be worthy of it i shall give my parents teachers and all elders respect and treat everyone with courtesy to my country and my people i pledge my devotion for in their well being and prosperity alone lies my happiness jai hind jai bharat now i am going to read a story for you look at my expressions and you also try to read the story like me we are one there lived two boys in a village one boy sham was the son of a cobbler belonging to a lower caste Rohan son of the village headman Rohan and Sham were the best friends Rohan's father would not allow his son to play with Sham because he belonged to a lower caste Rohan's father did not allow Sham to drink water from the village well neither he allowed him to go to the village temple this made sham and ruben sad and so they decided to go away from the village one morning they both set off from the village and walked a great distance till they reached a large pond both were tired and sham fell asleep rohan went to the pond he slipped and fell into the pond He did not know how to swim and he screamed help me Sham woke up at his screams and ran to his friend He saved his friend from the danger The village people brought the two boys back told the village headman how sham had saved his son from that day onwards sham was welcomed into rohan's house the village headman told the people that though all of them were of different castes they were all god's children with many faces value although people dress up differently they go to different places of worship they follow different culture but we all are one we all are one so children did you like the story yes the story was very interesting now let me ask you some questions who was rohan rohan was the son of the village headman rohan was the son of the village headman next question who was sham sham was the son of the cobbler sham was the son of the cobbler did you learn something from the story yes we have learned that although people go to different places of worship they dress up differently but we all are one we all are one now let's revise some spellings are we ready for the spellings yes we will be revising all the spellings three times first one is cobbler c o b b l e r cobbler c o b b l e r cobbler c o b b l e r cobbler belonging 
B E L O N G I N G belong to B E L O N G I N G belonging B E L O N G I N G belonging next one headman H E A D head M A N M A N headman H E A D head M A N M A N headman H E A D head M A N M A N headgones B E C A U S E because B E C A U S E because B E C A U S E because allow A double L O W allow A double L O W allow A double L O W allow me sentences with these words first one cobbler the cobbler mends our shoes the cobbler mends our shoes number 2 belonging the leopard is a strong animal belonging to a cat family the leopard is a strong animal belonging to a cat family headman the village headman was very kind the village headman was very kind because i did not go to school because i was sick i did not go to school because i was sick allow my mother did not allow me to go to the party my mother did not allow me to go to the party so children you can also phrase different kinds of sentences with these words keep reading and enhance your knowledge reading will make you more confident this is your english course book and it has similar kind of value stories in it so keep reading enhance your knowledge be safe at home next video bye bye